I like that you say that. I, I tell everyone, like, oh, Junior so far saw me the other day. He couldn't recognize me. Um, Junior, good to see you, man. How, how you been? Yeah, I've been great, man. I've, I've been great. Same old for me. Been uh, training, uh, you know, training. Well, I've, I've got a big fight coming up. Yeah. Just a, just a big fight coming out around the corner? No big deal? <laughs> no big deal. Same old, same old. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, so it's been a yeah, it's been good. It's it's uh, it's been a bit busy in terms of um, media and press conferences and stuff. But I'm just learning to enjoy this and embrace it, um, like you know, because uh, because I know when I'm old and wrinkly, I'm going to be thinking about these times that I had, like you know, cameras on me and stuff. So right now, I'm just enjoying the occasion and just making sure that I got myself prepared for the hard fight that I have coming up. Um, you know, after you, I mean, the last time you fought was in Seoul City, uh, Seoul City and that was a year ago. Um, you know, you, you haven't fought in, in a while, so like, um, were you? Did you stay, you know, active during the the pandemic, like during the lockdown, or how was how was that whole thing? Yeah, but half and half, you know. Um, kind of tried to keep myself active, which I did a little bit, and then I slacked off a bit again, and then, uh, and then when. Uh, just a few months ago was basically when I started to pick up the pace of my training and stuff because because of the talks of a possible fight of of um, of um, Joseph Parker came up. So then, yeah. So then, as soon as there were talks on that, I was like, oh, okay, I better I better start picking up my game. So it's been a slow year, but but it's been great because this has um, come out from that. Exactly. I mean, like, like Kevin Barry said, he said the stars have aligned. You, you, you know, when when you said like there were talks about the Parker fight happening, were you almost sure it would happen at like now? Because there's sort of no one else to to, to fight, right, for for Parker or or yourself. But did you were you sort of ninety percent sure, or were you still sort of on the edge that maybe it could happen, maybe it wouldn't? Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, I gotta say, it was pretty much ninety percent sure that it was going to happen. You know, because like you know, like I said, oh, I mean. Like you said, there was kind of nowhere to go. Um, we can't really fight overseas, and then if we were going to bring in someone from overseas, it'll cost so much money. So, um, oh, and plus, I don't think that we'll be able to get into the country anyway. No, 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 no yeah. so yeah, so like you know, so with all those factors, pretty much meant that me and Joseph Parker were definitely going to fight. Uh, yeah, so as soon as the talk started happening was basically when I made the switch that that pretty much this fight is 90%. Yeah. So, you know, obviously you and Joseph have the amateur rivalry. So uh, you won the... F did jo uh, Joseph, how, did, how did, can you break down the, the, f the four fights that have taken place? I, I think you won the first one, yep. was it? And then Joseph won the second. And can you tell, yep. tell us a little bit about the fight? So, uh, yeah, so I won the first time we met and then Joseph won the second... Oh, I mean the, the second and the third. And then I took out the fourth. So, yeah. but the fourth, can you explain a little bit about what this cost Joseph? So, when so the last time we faced was in Canberra. So this was for, this was for the uh, for the qualifications for the Olympic Games, and we got each other up on the first, on the first, uh, on the first draw. So yeah, so, so yeah, so that was the last time that we faced, and that meant that. He couldn't go to the Olympics, so. Yeah. So, so there is some rivalry, right? Like, um, in in a way, like, um, yeah. Do you think he he holds that a bit of like he holds that against you? I don't know. If, um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't think so because you know he's uh, he didn't really get to go through <laughs> with that tournament that I kind of beat him at. But at the same time, he's an ex world champion in the professional ranks, so. Do I think he holds that against me? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he does. Um, I think he's. I think he's moved on. But um, you know. But that doesn't change the fact that uh, that I have to bring the best version of myself. You know, come uh, December twelfth. Like Joseph, you know, he's a superstar in, in this fight. Like he's former world champion. He's defended the belt twice. He's got all the big names on his on his on his resume. Whereas you, you have history with him. You know, you've you faced the world champ, the former world champion, tw four times. You won twice. Uh, you're 19 and 0. You're undefeated. You know, you've been in there with training camps with Deontay Wilder. You faced AJ. Been in there with Usyk. What is your confidence levels going like, like against Joseph? 
it's very much the same as I go with in in um, every fight. Like the like the confidence level is probably a little bit higher because I know him a bit more. Whereas with the other people that I face, I I'm basically coming to the fight cold because I don't really know what to expect. But with Joe, I know what to expect. Um, so the confidence level is is kind of higher, but the but the but the riskiness is also high as well, you know, because I know because I know the danger that he possesses as well. So um, yeah, so it's just uh, yeah, so the risk is there, the confidence is there as well. But I'm just looking forward to the fight because it's gonna presents a great challenge for myself to hopefully overcome. Um, you know, like Kevin Barry said, so when Joseph was 19-0, he challenged uh, Carlos Takam, and that was for the number one spot in the IBF. Now you're 19-0, and and it's sort of a similar situation, but you're facing the former world champion. Can you just describe this opportunity? What does it mean? Like, um, like are you going to grab it with both hands? Are you going to try and get this win as much as you can? 100%. So I'm training hard for it. Um, this is a huge opportunity for myself to put myself and my my career into like a um, higher state. So you know, so I, I'll be foolish to not train hard for this. And you know, I'm I am definitely training hard for this, and I'm just looking forward to putting on the the best performance that I can. I don't want to look too forward in the future, but let's just say you win this rubble match with Joseph. Then there's a possible chance that because you're a WF number six, he's WF WBO number three. That means you get a you get a rematch with Usyk potentially. So you're sort of you know tidying up things from the past. So how do you feel about that? That's a very uh, tantalizing um, um, thing that you just put into my head. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, yes. It's definitely something to kind of look forward to, you know. It's definitely something to look forward to because I know beating just uh, beating Joseph Parker brings on a lot of treats for me, you know. This just like you know, this just lifts up my career. This kind of puts me into world title contention, and you know, all of the best things that you basically want for your career. So. Yeah, you'll only be one more fight away from a WBO strap, right? So. Yeah, this is not just a just a fight to stay busy during the pandemic. This has serious stakes and consequences behind it. This fight is huge. Yeah. So I'm making sure that I put my my uh, best foot forward, and then I'm making sure that I'm very very honest with myself in trainings, and you know I'm just you know I'm just making sure that I come fully prepared. Can you tell a little bit about you know your training at City City Kickboxing, which is a renowned gym. They got the best UFC fighters in there. Um, what has that been like, like with with Izzy and and like are they do they stick in their own lane, or like I know that Israel invited you to his camp? Was that a cool experience to go and see what like uh, the cameras and the lights behind him? Did you learn much from that? Yeah, so I learn. Yeah, I I try to I try to learn as much as I can when I'm around those guys, you know, because uh, because they have to deal with a lot of uh, media, a lot of uh, pressure as well, and um, and they and they're still expected to perform at a great level, so. With um, us at the gym, I think we're very, very lucky because we get to see those guys at their highest and their lowest, you know. So, um, yeah, so kind of watching them and the way that they can push themselves into training really, really, really is inspiring for the fighters like myself and a lot of other boys coming up. So, yeah, so watching them is just, it's just inspiring. Uh, you know, to me, dude, this fight is like a dream. You know, there's the amateur rivalry you've had. Um, you faced each other in the past. Plus, you know, you're the pride of Tonga. You've held the flag at the 2010 um, the games. You know, Joseph is like a, his favorite son of Samoa. This, this has the whole, it's a perfect, perfect fight. You know, um, tell people what to expect on December, not 11, December 12th. They are going to... Uh, I saw the last one. So, um, yeah, so, you know, this is a, this is... This is just a huge fight, you know. This is a huge fight because of because of the history that we have together, because of our heritage as well. But with that, I bring in a lot of pride that the future generation can actually aspire to do something like this as well. You know, I don't know if I don't know if two brown boys or two like you know poly boys have really 
headlined a fight just like this before. So, like, you know, this is uh, huge for ourselves, but also huge for the, for the future generation as well. It's a beautiful story, and I'm glad to be a part of it. So thank you very much, and all the best with training, and hope it goes well, man. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you so much, man.